Hello and welcome to Regrowth. This is a post apocalyptic um, mod pack with hardcore questing mode. So I just figured, why not? Let's go play it. Um, as you can see on this screen, there's uh, many recipes have changed. Check the questing book for recipes and check any eye and all that type of stuff. So it is a quite custom mod pack, which is one thing I love. So I'm going to start this out. If you guys want this to continue as a series or just enjoy it in general, hit that like button. That lets me know that you guys continually want to see this as a series and also just helps me get hyped up for the thing. So uh, hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you in the game. You were walking from slumber once more, but this time things seem a little different. The world itself appears dead around you, a wasteland stretching off into the distance, dotted by the skeletons of trees, accompanied only by gray boulders. Even more curiously, the earth seems barren. Try as you might, you cannot find a single deposit of minerals underground, leaving you to wonder what to make of this world. As you look around, you start to think about what it will take to survive here, and how you might try and help the world recover. Okay, so things are going to still be loading up, but uh, hopefully my computer can take this. Um, oh, there's a little bit of lag spike. I was waiting for that. <laughs> but um, so the um, this is a uh, hardcore map, so the best thing to do is get started right off the bat and not uh, lollygag around the place. Okay, we'll, we'll listen to that in a little bit because we need to get things going on. Sorry if you want to hear that, you will. I just need to get things doing going. Okay, so we are going to need to chop down some trees. Also, oh, hello, high water. Uh, okay, it's going to lag a little bit at the very beginning as I walk because it's going to continually load chunks and stuff. Let's also get this uh, questing out of the way. Okay, I'm going to, uh, let's, let's get these small ones out. Uh, lag. Alright. <laughs> I'm going to actually take down the video settings just a little bit more. I know it's on 5, but I am on a laptop, so not a very good laptop either. So, it's going to lag a bit as we go along. Let's actually go for this tree because it seems to be more of a usage out of it. Oh, come on. Quit being 15 frames. <laughs> that would be amazing. Now, as, as things load up, it, there's going to be a few lag spikes here and there, but as things load up, it'll get less and less, hopefully. Hopefully. Not guaranteeing anything, but hoping for the best. Was it needing, I think it needed 16 of these, possibly, was it? 10 of those, okay, 4 charcoal, and then 7 flint, which flint comes out of these, like, ash block thingies, I think. S slate, okay, not ash. It looks like ash, but it's not. Okay, we already have, okay, we have enough. Let's get uh, one more from this. You can tell which one is charcoal and which one's not because of the uh, texture on it so if you're looking around you can find them easily okay we have all those let's grab us some apples because the apples are amazing such a tool okay materials you have scrounged from the borders and dead trees are sufficient to make tools first you'll need to make a tool parts um If I remember correctly, wait, I wonder if it's in the no, there's nothing in that. <laughs> That's very helpful. Okay, so um, I think, I think, I think it was this. It was that. It was. <laughs> um, and then 
think that gives me, nope. I'm going, I'm going on assumptions here. I'm not quite certain on most things. I, fr I played this before, but I forget how to make certain things. Okay. Okay, so first you'll need to make tool parts necessary for making these tools. Once you've gotten that, you can see about making the tools themselves. Note, these are all craftable and the 2x2 two two are required. That's very helpful. Thanks, game. Um, <laughs> actually, I wonder if it's flint. It is. Oh. That's that's cheap. <laughs> uh, we need to. Oh, I guess we're making a matic, maybe. Um, that's a slate. Oh, okay, so it's top down. And then we'll need another axe head. Oh, uh, we need to. Uh, are we making a matic and a shovel? I guess. Whatever. We'll do it anyway. There we go, and then we need two rods and two bindings. Let me guess. That's going to be two rods. Um, did it say three of them? Four of them. Keep trying to go back to that for some reason. Is that a what? What is what is a? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let's get one more, and then the. Uh, Tool binding? What's the tool? Okay, there it is. <laughs> I don't know these things. Okay, there we go. And then it wants us to make the actual things. So I would assume each one of these would be. Maybe. Oh, wait. Whoops. That needs a tool binding. I forgot about that. <laughs> I know how to make these tools, don't worry. This is a shovel. This is an axe. Then this is a matic. There we go. Got all those. Okay, what do we want? Probably just go with a broadsword because uh, I usually just do a broadsword, which will give me enough to easily make a sword as it is. So let's just grab this. Thing. I hope I can do it with just a stick. I can. Okay. And then flint broadsword, which is amazing. Alright, so I'm going to chop down some of these trees around the place and start making myself a defense line, maybe? <laughs> defense line? No, I'm not going to do that pun. That's horrible. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to chop down these trees and I'll be right back. Okay, so the sun is starting to set, so the best thing to be doing now is to get your... Um, it, the best thing would be to get your fencing up. Depending on how you want to play this game, it's depending on how you want to do this. But, um, let's see. What we're going to want is a crafting table, which, um, okay. So now the question of it is, is how do we make a crafting table? Um... <laughs> This might be harder than what I thought. I, hmm. Hmm. So, any logs you might, uh, suitable for constructing dead wood. It's together, you'll be able to make a, by crafting hatchet. Okay, okay, so, looks like it's this way? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's getting dark too. That's bad. Um, so you'll be able to make a crafting table by crafting a hatchet with a plank. Though due to limitations, the hatchet mu oh fully repaired. Ha ha. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, it's getting really dark now. We need to get things set up really, really fast. Alright, so, at the moment, I'm only going to do, like, a, uh, 
2 by 2 by 5 or something, I think. I'm not quite certain how much... Alright, um... This way, uh, spiders, skeletons... Oop, didn't want to put that there. Um, spider skeletons, zombies, whatever, can't get to me, so... For now, I'm only going to do this much because I have limited resources and also it is night time, so... I'm just going to trap myself in here. <laughs> get out of here, Deadwood. No one loves you. Alright. This should be good. And it's probably dark, sorry. Um, I'm go I'll get some uh, torches going for you guys. Here you go. Let's place this right about uh, here. No, I can only put it on top. Oh, ah! <laughs> Whatever. I'll just light up the area a little bit more. There we go. Alright, let's look more into the crafting. Okay, so we already have the crafting table. We need the all these. Okay, so the 9 by 9 we okay, so we need all this to make dead wood. Okay, what do we need to make? Is it I think it may just be uh, regular stuff to make things. Stencil uh the I guess the stencil on the part builder would be that. Yes. Uh, we're gonna need. Oh, don't tell me I'm gonna have to repair that again. Don't you dare make me repair that again. Uh, of course, <laughs> of course you would do that. And the tool station, and then I guess a thing would be this. Yeah, I'm gonna make a few of these because we need them. Let's go about three of them. Like, like a two by two, and also. Actually, we have tinkers on here, don't we? Don't don't ask me. <laughs> don't we have tinkers? I totally didn't make any tinker tools right about then. Okay. <laughs> don't mind my stupidness. Okay. All right. Questing book, there we go, and then I have to go mining a little bit. So let me take out my flint pickaxe and can okay, no one can jump down there. Last thing I want is things to be coming after me. Alright, and place that there. And let's mine some stuff. Uh, that should be enough. Should be. It is. All right. Let's get this uh, last part done. And voila. All this done, we get a bit more. Ooh, full guard. That's gonna allow me to get a cutlass, which, although it's pretty much like regular swords, it just it looks cooler. So hey, why not? You always have to go with style, don't you? Earthly possessions. We want to get dirt. 32 cobble and 32 dirt. Which will get us stone and dirt. Okay. Okay, I'm going to basically mine a whole bunch. And then I'll get back with you after that. See you in a while. Okay, that didn't take as long as I was expecting, which kind of grateful for. So uh, let's open up our questing book. We got both of those. Um, I know limestone is actually kind of easy to find in here, so I'm going to go with marble. And another reason why is because I like building with marble more than I like limestone. So it's an easy choice there. So there we go. All right. So, um, you have to go find all of these, which is basically punching all the like uh, seed things, like plants and all that type of stuff. So I'll do that once, we, once it becomes uh, daytime. Also, killing an enderman. That's going to be... A fun time. Fun, fun. Alright. Um, I'm going to clean out my inventory. Let's get all this stuff. Also, I'm going to work out getting this bigger and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna be a fun part. So, I'll see you whenever. Alright, so 
I'm very, very close to being done with this. <laughs> I only need to find the pasture seeds. No. But anyway, so I'm going to uh, try to find that in between episodes and see how well that goes. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit that like button, comment down below, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time.